What's up everybody, Scar Whiskey here with my new review of Punch. Uh, it is their signature brand. Uh, they just released it a few months ago in retailers and you can see they went back to their uh, marketing and logos that they had uh, towards the early beginnings of the 1800s. Uh, Scar features a modern rendition of the brand's original logo, which is Punch, who's better famous known with the puppets called Punch and Judy, uh, something they've used uh, for a long time. If you didn't know that, just a little bit of information. Now, the important thing is that with most of the throwbacks used in this tobacco, uh, they went back to some of the blends they used in the early days. The cigar incorporates the Ecuadorian coho wrapper, similar to the Cuban coho seed used in the original blends. Uh, the cigar also makes use of Dominican and Nicaraguan tobaccos of the same variety that they used in the earlier uh, brands when they first started. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Coho. The binder is a Connecticut Habano. And the fillers is Dominican and Nicaraguan. If you see them in the stores, you'll see the old meets the new. Uh, the theme stays the same with the punch signature. Uh, the cigars are packaged in boxes of 18, having a clean look with a solid and blue color scheme. Other brands, uh, Punch used a rather large white and black band, having the Punch logo in the center and on the back side of the box. Uh, the construction is awesome. It feels solid with a tight springiness when squeezed. Uh, almost gives you the feel of like paper mache. The wrapper is quite oily and with barely visible seams and a few uh, predominant veins. It looks like it has a double cap and on the nose the cigar shows suitable notes of polished leather. Stay tuned for the first third. With the first third light I'm getting a lovely toasted cedar quality uh, milk chocolate and eventually it goes into a chili spiced flavor that you would find in chocolate bars. Uh, stay tuned for the second third. Into the second third, uh, the flavors profiles haven't changed much. Uh, still a really good cigar. Uh, I've smoked a lot of punch uh, products, uh, but I do think I prefer these uh, signatures uh, with the throwback to their blends of the early uh, days of their company I would recommend this to anyone who favors the punch line who enjoys this smoke uh, stay tuned for the final third bye welcome back to the final third of the punch uh, signature i'm in the final third and now i'm starting to notice uh, a toasted cedar type flavor coming forward with a little bit of a almond on the back all in all, a very uh, good cigar, and now I think this is more of the type of cigar I like from Punch. Something that go again, a throwback of their early years. If you haven't tried this, it is a recommendation. Uh, thanks again. If you like this video, please subscribe, and always remember to like and leave your comments. And thanks for tuning in. Cigars and Whiskey. Have a great day.